Hey guys, welcome to Testing Universe. In our Java interview questions and answers series, in this video we will write a Java program to get IP address and hostname of a system. So to get IP address and hostname of a system, we need to make use of a Java class which is called INET address class. So it is inside java.net package and we'll be making use of these three or four uh, methods to get IP address and hostname. But this class contains a lot of uh, functions or a lot of methods, right? But to achieve or to get IP address and hostname, we'll be making use of only these four methods. So before we start writing the program, I will just show you right about the INET address class. So just go to google.com type INET address in Java and it will give you a link. This is the link for the Java doc of the INET address. You can see here it is a class inside a package java.net and it, it has you know a direct known subclasses you can you know ignore for now and if you scroll down you can see here it has lot of methods. It has lot of methods and some static methods are there and then we have uh, you know some uh, non-static methods are also there so our focus here is get local host you can see here this is the method we need to make use of to get ip address and host name so this returns the address of the local host if i just click this you have a full explanation it returns the address of the local host this is achieved by retrieving the name of the host from the system so what this method does first it will retrieve the name of the host from the system and then it resolves that name into an ip address okay so the resolved address may be cached for a short period of time so whatever ip address uh, it will be you know resolved to it will be cached for certain period of time so that is the get local host method so that is a static method so we have to you know first call this particular get local host method and then with the help of this get local host method so we have to call get host name as well as get host address these two methods right so it, it will return inet address get local host will return inet address and with the help of the inet address object we have to call these two methods get host name as well as get host address okay so along with that we have one more method which is called get by name if you already have the name of the host then it will directly resolve or it will directly get the ip address the address of that particular host so this is get by name this is also we will see in this video so this determines the ip address of a host given the host name so you should give the host name it can be either machine name such as java.sun.com or a textual representation of ip address if you give the ip address if you give the ip address right what happens only a validity of the address format is checked it, it, it is not going to retrieve anything but it will just check the validity of the address format okay so this method also we will see so we'll go to our eclipse i have already created a class and uh, i have created main method also so i will write inet address dot inet address dot get local host this is the static method so this get local host right so you can see here it is you know forcing us to either throw a declaration or we have to put it in a try catch block so what is the if if we don't do what happens i will just run and show you if we don't put it in a try catch block or if we don't throw that particular exception so it is going to give us unknown host exception so for that reason either you have to put it as throws argument either you have to put it as throws uh, argument or you have to put it in a try catch block you have to surround it with a 
try catch block so this is what it you know suggests us so we will try to you know use the suggested uh, try catch block you can see here unknown ex uh, host exception and then it is giving me like this if you don't want to use this you can directly use it as exception that should be absolutely fine i will just you know remove the import so this is the get local host so this get local host method will give me the inet address it will return me the inet address object so i will take the inet address okay so i am getting the inet address object so what this contains i will just print and show you let us run this so the address contains you can see here this is the host name and then this is the host ip address it contains both the things host name and host ip address so with the help of that particular object so get host name and then i will just print it over here get host address okay so we are splitting it so this will be this will go to one variable and then this will also go to another variable if you want to save it in different variables so let me run this you can see here now the host name is different and then the uh, ip address is also you know giving separately like if if i don't want to uh, print it here i can print it separately also just a minute i will show you that the individual values you can get it with the help of get host name it will give you the host name and then it will give you the host address so are we getting the right values so i will just you know go to command prompt and then i will put host name so you can see here this is the host name i am getting and then if i put ip config what is the ip address we have got let me just go to the console 192.168.1.5 192.168.1.5 so this is how you can get host name as well as ip address so for example if i already know my host name if i already know my host name so what we can do we can make use of inet address dot get by name get by name and then i will pass the same host name whatever i have got here okay so this will also again give us the inet address object so i will just print all these three separately again so addr1 okay let us see what we'll get you can see here it is once again giving us the same result so if i pass the ip address as as stated by the document if i pass the ip address what happens it will just validate it will not retrieve it will just validate you can see here it is not giving me any host because it will not retrieve any value okay it is not retrieving any value so it is just giving me the blank address so it will just check the validity of it so if i simply miss something like this it will just check the validity of it okay so that's how we can uh, you know get the ip as well as host name of any system i hope you have learned something new and in your real time projects you will definitely get such scenarios where with the help of the local host or you will be in a system and then with the help of that system your program is running in a system directly you have to get the local host details then you can make use of or if you want to connect to a different system then try to get the ip address and try to uh, you know make use of or make the connection and then try to execute your complete you know programs 
hope you have liked this video so you can follow us on all these you know different channels thank you so much for watching